Lutenbacher syndrome is a combination of atrial septal defect with mitral stenosis. Original description of Lutenbacher syndrome was as a combination of atrial septal defect with mitral stenosis. Though Lutenbacher thought that both AST and MS were congenital, it is likely that in that 61-year-old lady, the AST was congenital and MS of rheumatic etiology. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. Later, several authors called a combination of atrial septal defect with any mitral wall lesion, stenosis, regurgitation or a combination as Lutenbacher syndrome. Some expanded it to include any left to right shunt at the atrial level. Recently, even atrial level shunts created by septal puncture for balloon mitral valvotomy has been included in the spectrum of Lutenbacher syndrome. Presence of the two lesions have significant hemodynamic effects on the other lesion. The large unrestrictive atrial septal defect lowers the left atrial pressure and gradient across the mitral wall so that findings of mitral stenosis may be obscured and so will be the features of pulmonary venous congestion. In the presence of a large AST, even a small gradient across the mitral wall is to be taken as significant. The obstruction to the left ventricular inflow, on the other hand, enhances the left to right shunt across in right real septum so that torrential left to right shunts are likely in Lutenbacher syndrome. This manifests as prominent right ventricular outflow murmur with a thrill. Cardiomegaly is also common. Traditionally, Lutenbacher syndrome is tackled surgically. Open mitral valvotomy or mitral wall replacement is done along with surgical closure of the AST. Joseph and colleagues have described complete percutaneous management of Lutenbacher syndrome. They close the atrial septal defect with an amplatzer septal occluder and dilated the stenotic mitral wall with Jomiva balloon. Bampani and colleagues have described the technical challenges of balloon mitral valvotomy in the presence of a large atrial septal defect. The large AST makes the ino balloon catheter unstable and entering to the left ventricle difficult. Here are the first set of references on Lutenbacher syndrome. Second set of references are here. These are the third set of references on Lutenbacher syndrome. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.